The Math Toolbar is designed to give teachers innovative and easy to use teaching tools ideal for creating exciting and engaging lessons. Inspired by teachers and teaching experts, we asked them what kind of subject specific tools they would need when using interactive technologies and this is what we developed as a result. The Math Toolbar is designed to complement the EasyTeach 3.3 Toolbar but give interactive software equivalents of familiar teaching tools that you may already make use of in the math classroom. Teachers told us that they needed easy access to graphs and within the graph tool I can instantly grab graph paper with common layouts and axes straight out onto the screen. And once it's there I could use my straight line tool to actually get students to plot the line of that graph. I could also bring up my units and symbols bank. This is really useful as as a teacher when using interactive technologies the last thing that I want to do is to turn my back on the class while I'm searching for a particular um, symbol or unit um, on my desktop or laptop. So this way I can actually drag out any symbols or units that I want and pull them straight out onto my Easy Teach page. So it may be that I'm dragging out the X's to plot the graph, or I could be wanting to create a card background, increase the size of the font, if we're looking at simplifying expressions, for instance, and create some cards that I can very simply pull out onto my Easy Teach page. And you'll notice that the 2x is in red there, and that's because my paint fill is actually in red. But if I change the colour, if I then bring out a 2y, also in red, my visual learners will really benefit from the fact that I'm changing the colour of the different type of expression. So that's just one way that you can use the units and symbols bank. I'm going to create another new page and I'm going to show you how then you can go and use the graph tool to customize your own graph. And you can do that by changing the X and Y values. And once you have, EasyTeach will generate the graph for you and allow you just to pull it straight out onto the page. So I'm not having to waste time by creating a graph every time I need one from scratch. So we saw how I could use the straight line tool, but I could also use my paint fill tool if we're looking at creating a bar graph, for instance. So I could label my axes too if I needed to and change the fill color to get students to input that information onto the screen. As well as a graph tool, there is also a number grid tool. And these also contain template grids, including a 0 to 99 grid, the 12 by 12 multiplication grid, plus you can customize your own by putting in the start, the columns, the step and the number of rows. I'm just going to bring out a 1 to 100 grid and again I can just drag that out onto my Easy Teach page. And the nice thing about the number grids is that it is not a static resource. All of the numbers can be removed from that number grid. I could replace them with new numbers. I could again use my paint fill tool to identify trends in the numbers, multiplication patterns or prime numbers. I could also change the fill color to black to obscure the number underneath to get students predicting and revealing if perhaps we're doing multiplication strategies. So lots of ways that I can use that number grid. There's also a bank of number lines again a common bank that I can just drag out because they're all my pre-prepared ones but a quick and easy tool for customizing your own so if I'm studying decimals with my students I may want to create my own decimal number line by putting in the start and end and the steps and bringing it out onto the page what we will also notice about the number lines are that all the numbers can be removed I could use my curved line tool to actually look at the steps of adding or subtracting. I could bring up the fraction bank that is also within my math tool set. So like the units and symbols bank, 
This gives me quick and easy access to fractions. They're really at my fingertips. And anyone that's tried formatting fractions in other applications know how difficult and time consuming it can be. But here we have our decimal number line and I'm able to change my fraction size to medium and I can get my students dragging the equivalent fraction above the decimal there. Again, I can change the color of the fractions that are coming out onto the screen. And if there aren't the fractions there that I need, I can go and customize my own and just drag it out straight onto the page. I would also like to show you the function machine. This interactive function machine enables teachers to extend activities and really test students' ideas in a motivating and fun way. I'm just going to drag minus six out onto my platform there and I'm going to change the function and also the number by using the up and down arrows and because we've recently been studying what happens when we multiply a minus number by another minus number I'm going to cover up the information that's gone in between the minus six and the outcome so that when I press play my students would have to predict what went between the minus six and the 24 and I could have a student using the interactive whiteboard or the pad to actually drag and reveal what went underneath and if we had a multifunction we could bring out as many um, function machines as we wanted to and we could drag the outcome onto the next platform finally I would like to show you the place value cards within the math toolbar these place value cards are large enough for the whole class to see and they range from 0 0.0001 to 9 million so we can choose the size again small medium and large drag those place value cards out onto my page Again, I'm not having to prepare them from scratch. It's really saving me a lot of time. And perhaps I'm going to read out that number. And I'm going to get one student out actually creating the number that I read out to them. And you can see that there's the snap to functionality with those place value cards. To further help my visual learners, it would help if the tens and units one decimal places are all colored differently and I can do that using my paint fill tool. So simple to learn and really easy to use. RM's Easy Teach Math software really gives teachers the tools they need to, to build lessons that capture the interest of every student. Graph tools, flexible number grids, number lines that can be very interactive and you can remove the numbers from place value cards as well as an interactive engaging function machine and don't forget within the multimedia bank you have access to images and flash tools specific to the math teacher